Not long now until the new MLS season starts, and it's not very often we say this, but quite a few eyes on San Jose Earthquakes, mm -hmm. Ali, because of the acquisition of Matthias Almeida, making that move from Liga MX to MLS. What are the big differences that he's going to face? Well, the first thing that he's going to face, and it is very clear and you cannot ignore it, is that he doesn't have a very good team in place. Uh, you look at what the San Jose Earthquakes were last year, they played 34 matches in the regular season. They won a grand total of four games. Four games. Yeah. Four games. And they allowed 71 goals. So, look, when you have those sort of numbers, you're not just one or two players away from becoming competitive. You have to change a lot of things. You have to change the player personnel that's available for you. You have to change a mentality. You have to change the way that the team seats itself and evaluates itself on a daily basis. And I think that's something that Matias Almeida has tried to do early on in the preseason. He's talking about samurai code and he's talking about how you're going to sacrifice yourself for the team and attitude and all these things. And I'm guessing what he's trying to get to is to a point to where this team functions as yeah. a team first and then after that you can talk about what is it that you can do on the field they want to get off to a quick start maybe that builds some confidence but in order to do that you have to have the players available I don't know that they do so far is he under less pressure in MLS than he would be in Liga MX yes the, the spotlight isn't on him all the time he is in the sense that when he was at Chivas Guadalajara, everything that he did was analyzed and was criticized. And when he did well, everything was great. When he didn't do so well, you're the worst coach in the world. And that's sort of the way that things are handled in Liga MX. Uh, unrealistic expectations at times in Liga MX. Whereas in MLS, I think he's going to get the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. He's going to get time. And he's stepping into a position where, let's, let's be honest, the bar is very low. Again, they only won four matches last year. And so, therefore, anything that is better than that will be appreciated. The other thing is that I think brings a little bit more pressure into this is that whenever he signed with San Jose Earthquakes, on their Twitter pages, on the social media, everything has been about Matias Almeida. Right. Matias Almeida went to the store. Matias Almeida did this with the ball. Matias Almeida did this with the water bottle. Okay, fantastic. But he's not on the field. Sure. And so his level of activity and preparation for this team prior to the season is going gonna, is gonna to tell us a lot about what the San Jose Earthquakes are going to be during the season. But in the end as it's always the case, is the 11 guys that you put out there on the field and how prepared they really are. But yes, I'm that can only take you so far. The players will do the rest. Ali Moreno, as always, thank you very much. Plenty of content between now and the start of the new MLS season. So keep it right here on ESPN FC.